I am Nana Faraika. The time has come for the lioness to tell her story from her viewpoint and tell the world who Queen Omega is. This is the lion's voice. The time has come for the lioness to tell her own story. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Kingston, went to school in Kingston, grew up in the 60s, late 50s, 60s, so, um, trotting through Black Power, Rastafari, and then evolved from Black Power into Rastafari because oh. at the time that had no spirituality, the whole Black Power movement Black Power. was more material, yes, was more materialistic, and Rastafari was a way of life for me at that time. Wow. Until what, now. what 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 um in, in terms of Kingston, were you part of the working class, middle class, upper class? How would you characterize your upbringing? Well, I never how would they say middle okay middle class. Yeah. And the reason that I ask you that because I know how Jamaica society looks at Rastafari. Well at the time, well, at the time we was a group of young people going to high school, trying to want to make a change in Jamaica. Um, at the time, you would never see a bro, a, a dark-skinned person in a bank. Everybody here, everybody here was all processed, and we want to make that change from high school. Wow. So at that time, we'd go around to high schools talk to young students like ourselves and show them that a better way out. And from that whole involvement into the strengthening within Rastafari. So we would um, start going to meetings. We started out going to like 12 Ethiopian World Federation. Yes. Then yes. we evolved from the Ethiopian World Federation into 12 tribe and then Naya Bengi. Okay. We was a radical young people <laughs> at the time. We don't take no chat. What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Okay. To the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like himself. Right uh -huh. Hey yo! Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky It's a lie, the almighty living on your life From ancient times, them a try Them Romans, know them just open them suit and ties Criminals ain't got no alibi They stole my people, then them come spread out them genocide Still, them couldn't kill the lion will come conquer to the tribe Go to tribulation, I and I strive See separation, I and I still rise That's why we tell them In America, live Rastafari in a every ghetto area We come to tell them In a Toronto, straight at you I have to tell the family tonight I have such a special guest This one is so wonderful to I This guest is like a mother to so many. Um, my Rastafari family in Jamaica will immediately recognize the voice, the face. You know, um, she's a pillar in the Rastafari community in Jamaica. When it come on to Ital, chef, chefings, you know, a, a master chef, um, business owner, um, you know, someone who has seen so much, lived so much, in the Rastafari Chad, um, she has been a guide to I, you know, she has strengthened I with the Jamaica Music Conference. Um, I don't even have to ask, you know, she will just come and, and give I and I strength over the years, um, strength to I and I family, you know, and this is just the, the love that this elder possesses um, is really remarkable. And I'm honored that the Lion Voice Network is able to share now I'm going to tell the family in advance, her throat is not feeling very well. So I don't know how long we're going to be able to 
do the interview. This is a special treat and gem. May I give the item tonight? May I tell the item? So we're just going to go as, as far as we can. When she's ready um, to, to, to seal up, we'll just seal up and then maybe we'll take some additional questions. We can keep the live going. Um, the item can determine how you want to, 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 to run the rest of the live. Uh, however, uh, tonight is my great honor uh, to welcome to the Lion Voice uh, the Queen, Mama Yvonne Hope. Welcome to the Lion Good. Voice. Greetings in the name of Rastafari. One night. Yes, yes. Um, it's really a joy. Uh, we're going to get right to it. Where were you born and what was your journey to Rastafari? I was born in Kingston, went to school in Kingston, grew up in the 60s, late 50s, 60s, so, um, trodden through Black Power, Rastafari, and then evolved from Black Power into Rastafari because oh. at the time that had no spirituality, the whole Black Power movement Black Power. was more material, yes, was more materialistic. And Safari was a way of life for me at that time. Wow. Until what, now. What, what um, in, in terms of Kingston, were you part of the working class, middle class, upper class? How would you characterize your upbringing? Well, I never, how would you say, middle, okay. middle class. Yes. Uh, I, and the reason that I ask you that, because I know how Jamaica society looks at Rastafari. Well, at the time, well, at the time we was a group of young people going to high school, trying to want to make a change in Jamaica. Um, at the time, you would never see a broad, a, a dark-skinned person in a bank. Everybody here, everybody here, was all processed and we want to make that change from high school. Wow. So at that time we'd go around to high schools, talk to young students like ourselves and show them that a better way out. And from that whole involvement into the strengthening within Rastafari. So we would um, start going to meetings. We started out going to like 12, Ethiopian World Federation. Yes. Then yes. we evolved from the Ethiopian World Federation into 12 tribe and then Naya Bengi. Okay. We was a radical young people <laughs> at the time. We don't take no chat. Okay, okay. And and how did your parents at that time oh, look at run us up, run, run us from the house? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so you were not you 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 had to leave home after a certain point. Yes, because they see it start the changes. They see it start processing here. They see us reading more books about us as a people, black people. They never liked that. A lot of those books was banned at the time mm. by Hugh Shearer, the prime minister at the time, mm -hmm. and. It was just hard, and we had to seek out knowledge everywhere. We would travel all over the island seeking information on Africa and Rastafari. What year are we talking and we was about? All young people. Yes, what year were we talking about, and how old like were you? 69, 69 70. And how old, were you, how old how old was young, I? Was young, 15, 16, oh. but we we want to make a change. Because uh, we're going to talk had, about Yeah, we're going to run the riot. Okay. We okay. get involved and think as young people, we were the change maker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rastafari, Emperor Elis Lassie the first. The little people go impress many. Well, even if the stars they fall and the moon turn into blood, but to the coming while we stand tall, I will shower you with my love. And even when the people start fall, cause they see the city streets and flood. I made your light shine and I'll tell you Your love was a light 
down I will never hide that brother stand my ground Lion of Judah blessed with the triple crown Can't come fool I with no circus clown Now fear no hurricane or the cyclone Respect for mama earth with that embedded on me bone That's why I will never leave you alone Protect you from harm when the alarm sound So even when the stars they fall And the moon turn into blood Coming while we stand tall I will shower you with my love And even when the people start mal They see their city streets then flood The hurricane blow down our wall I'll be by your side and me not both Think I found the love of a lifetime I love you every day or the night time The Almighty, I made your light shine And I'm to your light was a lifeline I think I found the love of a lifetime I love you every day or the night time The Almighty, I made your light shine And I'm to I, your love was a lifeline They say hurt people hurt people Maybe that's why Babylon them so evil Maybe Babylon abused as a child That's why them no like the light when you smile That's why them no like how your body curve The way how you dance get on Babylon nerve Them no know how the almighty you serve Want to be a queen so what king you deserve